right, so I'm thinking this might not be the best idea to put it back here. It is a possibility, but I'm going to try the other location and see if that works out better. Seems to be like a perfect spot for it. I have to build a little box around it. I might just go for it right there. I'm going to have to probably build it up a little bit. So I'm thinking about building some kind of uh, some kind of box around this, all this bending right here. I got to figure out which way that goes. I'm pretty sure the exhaust out that way, and the air comes in this way, and then maybe make a portal down there um, for air to come into the box and have a fan blow air into the unit. But the thing is, it'd have to be a fan that's that big, probably. Uh, like I said, I was going to study the earth roamer stuff for the setup, and I found a neat thing for the exhaust vents. Actually using uh, uh, boat engine exhaust vents. I mean, that's what it looks like to me on um, earth roamer, on the back of an earth roamer. If you look at where their um, air conditioning comes out and exhaust, it looks like uh, boat exhaust vents. So... I'm going to give it a shot. I've already ordered some, so that'll be my first try. All right, so everything's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. Got pretty much an airtight space down here. You know, I have to seal it up with some tape or something. Now I've got to build the back part. It's pretty solid. I think I wish I would have had a little bit more lean on it, but I'll adjust that later. I need to make sure it's at least four degrees, especially in this thing.
so the vents are angled that way so you know the uh the air going by helps pull that out um and the rain won't go in that way and these are supposed to uh prevent rain from from going in supposedly so i'm gonna use them on boats it looks like i got a clear shot plenty of airflow um time will tell though we'll see plus uh i don't think it looks too bad guys just wanted to share with you uh some of my research this is an earth roamer rv and um, they're high-end RVs if you're not familiar with them. They're like in the $400,000 range, starting at $400,000 and up. Um, the early models used a window air conditioner unit, or at least that's what I, I think it is, because I'll, from what I've seen in the pictures, and everything looks just like it. The, I think the early units were made by Sharp. Um, they were like 5,000 BTU. Anyway, I noticed that they use these boat vents. Um, on the back and that at least that's what it looks like to me from from this angle I, I think if I looked close up that that's exactly what they'd be so that's what I use in my my project um, what I didn't say is they use a refrigerator vent for the top for the inlet um, for the intake of the uh, the air passing over the uh, condenser they used a uh, refrigerator vent to suck air in and then an exhaust through these vents right here but just wanted to pass that on to you in case uh, maybe it'd be uh, useful to somebody out there um, especially if you're going to mount it on top, that would be an arrangement where I, I drilled holes in the bottom for my intake. There are a couple of websites I ran across um, doing research for this air conditioner install. And uh, one really good site is uh, Build a Green RV. And this guy's done extensive research, especially on uh, putting air conditioner, a window air conditioner in a uh, RV. Um, he goes through and explains, you know, how the window air conditioner works. Um, he shows his install and, uh, you know, what he did. But most importantly, if you thumb down through um, his site and dig down into it, he's done extensive testing on his unit to make sure it would work outside of the uh, van. Um, here he, he shows he put um, several holes in it for the exhaust and uh, tested the airflow. And um, anyway, he's done it with, uh, you know, like four, two ducts in the front. Um, Four ducks in the back and, and different arrangements as you can see in, uh, in all his uh, details here. But most importantly is the conclusion that he came to um, that installing a fan on the inlet um, with smaller holes works just as effectively as being open. So um, actually just, you know, operating the, the airflow out of a, a small four inch holes is just as effective with a fan as it would be um, as the air conditioner not being encased like I did. So anyway, I thought that was an interesting conclusion. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.